ladies and gentlemen, I'm Meansy69, welcome back to the channel. Today we are taking another look at the T110 E5 uh, and talking about just how much I miss this tank and uh, the reasons I don't play it that much anymore and, and what this tank used to just, uh, what it used to be like. So uh, it used to be a heavy. It's uh, basically a heavy that can also play as a medium uh, because of the uh, the speed of the tank. So the armor profile, it, you got 203 on your turret. I mean, on paper, not a lot, but that is actually quite strong. Uh, it has a quite a strong turret. 254 on your hull. Now the hull isn't, the upper plate, yeah, is strong. The lower plate can easily be be penetrated now the dpm 2591 which now is not the greatest of uh dpms in in, in terms of uh, heavy tanks in tier 10 that's actually quite poor um too uh, well not poor poor but you know there's, there's other tanks that are quite a few tanks that are better than that reload is 9.26 seconds the penetration 258 on your ap 340 on your heat and 60 on your he now you could run this with calibrated shells the penetration would go you higher uh, but to be honest keep the dpm the penetration especially the heat is fine as it is so you need to uh, to keep with the rammer to uh, to keep that gun depression uh, sorry to keep that dpm high uh, higher sorry so it is a 400 alpha gun 340 on your heat and 515 on your he three second aim time and dispersion is 0 0.317 and it does have eight degrees of gun depression and the speed is now 37 kilometers per hour which is not that quick now uh, but it does have the uh, the extra speed boost that this uh, you can use to uh, to make it go a little bit quicker for a short period of time now the the thing with this tank it's been changed so much over the years like it's been changed an awful lot those of you that uh, were here a long long time ago will remember the old e5 basically the old e5 kind of is like the uh, the, the E6 that we've got now, the T95 E6, I think it is, um, that used to be this E5. Now, you can't see it on this because it's been removed, but if you just look on Google, if you put in T110 E5 in Google, uh, you will see the old uh, the old E5. And make sure you put, obviously, what blitz in the front of it, because it used to have a massive hatch on top, like, absolutely massive. And where this tank used to be like a, a heavium or it used to be able to go down uh, hold down quite easily um it had the uh, the massive hatch on top that was easily easily penable now people like amunet used to love the hatch because it used to be quite troll as well so people used to just if you're hold down people used to always aim for the hatch and if you're moving side to side and it is quite it was even though it's a big hatch of course if you're moving um it becomes sort of quite a difficult to, to to penetrate so uh but most people in fact love the uh the removal of that uh, the hatch on top because it was a big hatch and it was a big weak point um but yeah wargaming it used this used to be a very 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 popular tank very popular um especially after they removed that hatch it used to be so popular um, but now Wargaming decided to nerf some heavies. They decided to nerf, uh, well, a while ago now, they nerfed the FE215B. And the FE215B, the best thing about that tank was the fact that it was one of the best, no, it was the, the highest DPM heavy in the game. Uh, and then they bring in the WZ113, and yeah, it's it's all changed. And then they go and nerf the FE215B. They nerf the DPM, they nerf the speed, uh, the, the turret rotation or the traverse. And, and now that's probably one of the worst tier 10 tanks. Uh, and this is the same. Wargaming nerfed this tank. They nerfed uh, it quite badly. And, and now it's, it's, it's not a struggle, but it's not as good as it used to be it used to be such a good tank that you used to be able to take out just for a bit of fun and you used to easy to be able to average sort of three and a half four k damage in in this tank nice and easy uh but yeah i don't know why wargaming decided to to nerf these tanks you know they they yeah they were strong but this and the fe215b were, were never op 
Like they were never OP. They were they were super strong in the right hands. Uh, but yeah, they were never ever OP. Get this this tank on a hold down uh, on a ridge, and you used to be able to bounce everything. Now I do struggle even on a ridge. I struggle to even bounce. Like I've bounced obviously there, but uh, yeah, I think over the sort of the last year or two. The, the tank has definitely changed for the worse and people can see that because it's not played half as less uh, half as sorry half as much than it used to be and it is a shame because it used to be a fantastic tank it used to be uh, quite an important tank on the battlefield like it was uh, very important it used to used to be able to carry in this tank you have the speed if you you have the sort of flexibility if you wanted to go with your heavies of course you can go on a ridge and go with your heavies or if you wanted to go with your mediums you had the speed and you also had the dpm to go with your mediums and the medium tanks used to be able to uh, used to struggle to be able to penetrate you uh, but now it's just the standard heavy tank in tier 10 the standard boring heavy tank in tier 10 that's all right that's pretty pretty much all it is it's it's all right it there's nothing sort of majorly bad about it but now because of all the nerfs there's nothing ma like massively op or massively exciting ab about this tank and and that is what this tank has always been known for and and that is the same as the fe215b that's known t that was known for its dpm that was known for the hash that was known for the turret uh, and to be honest like wargaming just sort of got rid of that and and it's annoying how wargaming are nerfing all these old and old tanks that have been around for many many years but yet they're bringing in new tanks that are way better than these tanks they were way better than even even before these tanks got nerfed these tanks are still better than them you, you know like the concept 1b um tanks like that and and you know it's why 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 nerf these old time tanks and then bring in tanks like the 60 tp the concept which are a massively better like so much better than these tanks it's annoying it really is uh, annoying uh, and it is a shame it is a shame because these tanks were once fantastic uh, and now not many people will play them because they're just the average joe uh, and there's nothing exciting now about these tanks except for the way they look i do admit that the e5 will always look i mean it didn't look nice when it had the hatch uh, but now without the hatch and then the legendary camo i do i do think it looks fantastic but let me know what your thoughts are on the t110 e5 do you, was it a tank that you loved uh, is it a tank that you've never loved or is it a tank that you still love even after these nerfs so i hope you enjoyed today's video guys i'm meezy 69 and i'll catch you all soon bye bye